And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to simulate a speed effect. You'll find the original via description link below, I'll copy it. Then I make sure that I've got the copy layer selected. I go to filters, distorts and there's a wind effect that we can use. Check the preview and you can see the effect applied in real time. In the drop down you've got wind and blast, but it becomes more obvious if I increase the effect a little bit. At first you need to go down with the threshold to increase the intensity. So now this effect is applied to more elements of the photo. For now it's from the left and we want to have it from the right in this case. So change the direction and if we now switch to blast you can see the difference clearly. So wind is what you need for the speed effect. If you go up with the strength at some point you have it all affected and you have let's say pixel stretch effect. So go down with the threshold and up with the strength and you have it intensified. Do it the other way around to decrease the intensity. When you've got what you want just click on OK. And this is how you can create such a speed effect in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.